Hi guys, welcome to a new episode. As you can see now I'm using the newest version of Blender. So let's hope everything works fine because this is the first time I'm opening any of my files. So today I'll show you one of the most important characters on the story which is the captain of the ship. Of course it is made in the same way as the character that I showed you in the first episode with this modular approach for the head, the body, the hands, etc. Uh, we have a texture pa pass on the outfit but of course it doesn't show a lot because this is a typical uh, naval uniform and it's very dark with um, very little detail. Here we have um, different materials, as always. For example, for the uh, suit, the shirt, um, another for the sleeves. All of them using the same shader logic as I have shown you before. Here in the suit, uh, it is very important for some details to add some creases in certain parts as well as some freestyle edges which practically uh, coincide with the uh, creases you can see that for example for giving more definition to the shoulder area I can move down the, the crease slider and becomes very rounded I move it up and it's very define. Uh, materials as always are this uh, shader to RGB based um, shaders with typical variations from very simple ones to these other ones with um, texture mapping and tone controls and etc. A little innovation I was trying was for the eyes here, in, in order to give a little more uh, specular, if necessary, I added this emission shader, which is masked with a texture. So I can regulate here and increase or decrease the shyness. Another important innovation that I'm going to um, apply to future models is this uh, effect on the sp hair specular. This is a very interesting technique that I took from a tutorial from uh, Lightning Boy Studio. I'll leave the link in the description. Obviously it's not made identical just I just took the uh, specular part which is what I really was interested in. Here I I have discovered a little issue with the shoes, which is that maybe they are a little too gray compared to the suit. So with your permission, I'm going to make a little correction, making this a little darker on the shadow part. And now on the specular, I'm going to modify the roughness a little bit. So there we are. Now as for animation, the uh, rigging part is practically identical to the other character, but um, since this is a very basic setup, I still have the necessary elements to uh, make some uh, give, give it some expressiveness. All this using the same bones and all the same rigging system as the other character I showed in the first video. Another important point is the management of the texture, where I have different layers in which I can show or hide some different details according to the angle of the camera shot. For example, I can uh, use these shadows with different angles, some lines, things of that sort. So this is what I've got for today. 
here I leave you with a very nice render, if I can say so myself. Um, I'll see you in the next video. So, adios amigos.